Peace, y'all. It's Aisha Raquel. And I'm back with another episode of Aisha by Nature. Naturally Aisha. In Aisha's habitat. Aisha physically in nature. Aisha sharing and presenting her natural state, her natural way of being. That's what Aisha by Nature is. And I'm learning and surrendering to what that needs to be because it started off as a space of expression that I created because I had nowhere to turn nobody to talk to about the shit that I had just experienced and that started in 2018 like I highlighted in the last video honoring this space all together and now it is December 2024. Um, so much growth, so much evolution, um, so, so much change has occurred. I'm gonna close my window. I wanted to keep it open so I can get some fresh air, but the um, sounds from the businesses around the area got me like distracted. So, yeah. But I do have my instant lit. I got it. It's interesting. It's interesting. Yes, I've, I've cultivated this space to sit and record this video, but it's really hitting me. Like, this is a real vulnerable space for me. I'm in my new home recording this episode for the first time in this new space I've, it's my first episode of acer blah, mercury fucking retrograde this is my first episode as asia by nature in my new home that i've been living in for a month now i'm still in new orleans just in a new home and i'm just in a very vulnerable and raw space physically because i'm in my bedroom sitting on my bed spiritually because today is the first day of a 13 14 day fast that i'm doing uh and i just feel open i feel present and i feel here and uh it's been a lot it's been a lot of changes man and i, I just ask god to really like guide my words like guide my words with this because i know that this video needs to come out i know that i need to express i know that i need to be of service and create sacred space for humans to know that they're not alone so i guess it really has turned into like this hangout space i would say So like grab your grab your water, grab your tea, your incense, whatever you need to really be here in this moment. <sighs> let's let's take a breath together, honestly. Let's take a breath together. So a lot has been coming through today in this space of clarity. I've truly been seeing the bigger picture because it's like I hide away pieces of myself while living in this realm, I would say. I dim my light a lot because I know that in a way my natural state is unfathomable to the average human mind. And as unfortunate as that is, what's even more unfortunate is me not being my real self. What has been even more unfortunate in my 28 years of life is me not being my 
real self. My real self as in shorty who love nature, shorty who gonna hug a tree and talk to blades of grass and really be tuned in to the minute insects on that blade of grass. Really be tuned into the patterns of certain weeds that grow in between the blades of grass. Tuning into the trees, talking to the trees, tuning into the insects and the air and the stars and the moon and the sun and the planets and certain colors and the vibrations that they have and just how humanity not only how but what all of this even is that's my natural state like i'm a student of life i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm a <laughs> i'm an ancient being of nature like my ancestors were one with nature. My ancestors were outside babies, for real. Like, we spent a lot of time outside and we, we flow with the rhythm of nature. And that's bringing me to, into this space of guilt and shame that I've been in. Uh, the job that I currently work, I've been there for going on six months. Actually, today, <laughs> today it makes the six month, exactly. Uh, which is also very symbolic whole half of a year and if you know me I I can't and don't desire to stay at jobs that that don't feed into me and honestly it's like a relationship for me like it literally becomes abusive whether it's mentally physically or spiritually for me like to be in the relationship still longer than I need to and I be piecing the fuck out I be peacing out for real, for real, from these places, these corporations that don't even know my name at the end of the day. Um, and usually, usually I cap off at six months. I really cannot even tune into a job that I was at longer than six months. Honestly, like, <laughs> ah, maybe I feel like it's somebody that I stayed with for eight months. I'm gonna have to tune into that, but. The guilt and shame that has come up because I'm in that space, the, my cycle that I see myself in and have seen myself in the past 10 years of uh, working jobs, I'm, I'm coming to the space of like, it's time for me to peace out and move on and not only that, but I'm tired of going from job to job. So I'm really, 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 really ready to cultivate my my ecosystem that's gonna feed back into me and I can feed into it and we just uh 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 hence Asia by nature hence me really devoting myself to my music and my art it's so much cool shit on the way man it's so much beautiful art and offerings that are on the way but back to my point like I've dimmed my light and my natural true self my true essence my nature I've literally suppressed it for so long, not even just in jobs, but with my family, friends, like, society, of course, like, I have adopted a pacification of the world around me because I know that they're unable to fathom what God brought me in as. And really that caused me to tuck away pieces of myself and tuck away myself altogether out of protection, out of fear of re rejection and being bullied or whatever I've, I have experienced or seen others experience by being their natural true selves. And that has resulted in me picking up habits and coping mechanisms that I'm not, that aren't mine, <laughs> you know, like. It's, you see, you see, you see, so that has really been highlighted for me, like, dang, like, you came in as this potent, powerful, pure, man, you can't tell me I ain't no lyricist, you came in as this potent, powerful, pure, 
colorful ass energy who knew what they came here for. I've been new. I've been new. But I had to chip away pieces of myself to be digestible and fathomable even as a baby. Like, it began in my core years. It's like, I know I, I know I saw spirits as a kid, but who could I bring that to? I, I know I could read energies. and I know my memory is... It's powerful. Like I know, I know it's a lot of power that is my bad, y'all. I got a text. But yeah, I know it's a lot of power. That has been suppressed in my whole life that always loops back around for me to remember and tap into. So, I'm in a very potent space right now of parenting myself, remembering those pieces of myself because they ain't never left. It just got tucked away, you know. I'm in a space of identifying them again. You know, reclaiming them, calling them back in, uh, creating a whole new life, a whole new reality for myself. I was going to say figuring it out, but baby, it ain't nothing to figure out. Creating the flow for myself in these newfound Creating a flow for myself in these newfound frequencies and flavors that I have began to remember existed. Um, literally retrieving pieces of myself. Man, you remember like as a kid, is this some shit you saw or loved as a kid? And like you can see one little clip online or something that would just remind you of a certain toy or something that you really wanted. <laughs> and it just brings back a whole energy of like, oh yeah. That was me, huh? So here's to remembering, man. Here's to continuing the return. Returning to yourself. Returning to your natural state. Being gentle with yourself. We're going to talk more about that gentleness. I, I, my next video, I want it to be really, really long. So I'm going to... Um, first of all, I got to figure out my... I've had this camera my whole fucking life down here since I was in uh like 10th grade. But I still have not like, <laughs> yes, I said it. I've had this camera since I was in like 10th grade, bro. Like, I was like 15. So I've had this camera for like 13 years. This is magical shit. But anyway, I it only records for 16 minutes for some reason. And I don't know if it's set like that or if I could change it. So I haven't done any videos longer than 16 minutes because of that reason but my next video I want it to be long longer like the type I like to listen to from the from the people that I tune into um because we got to talk about that uh that gentleness that gentleness with yourself as you go through this this healing process and this reparenting and trusting yourself um yeah The video is coming to an end <laughs> and I don't want to get cut off so I'm going to leave it there man. I love you and I pray that you've told yourself that today in the mirror looking in your eyes. Let me look at myself. I love you Aisha. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for being here and thank you for tuning in to Aisha by Nature. If this resonates with you, definitely subscribe. Uh, hit the like button. Put a comment at the end so I know that I need to keep these going. Even though I already know. I knew when I recorded the first one. Like, the world needs this. The world is evolving. The world is expanding. And I've experienced so much and I hold so much wisdom that needs to be shared. And I want you to know that I'm here for you. And we're going to continue to heal and grow and evolve through this thing called life. 
So yeah. Peace. Make sure you check out my music on all streaming platforms. I'm sick of saying that as well, so I'm figuring that out. Check out my music, Aisha Raquel, and go on and find you a groove today to go ahead and get a new song. You know, uh, 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 mm, mm.